if you're the defender, right, and it happens all the time, say there's a long ball and you're the defender, you go up and head it, and I, I, and I about a second later clatter into you, what happens? I get a free kick. Every single day of the week. There's no difference to this. The cross comes in, yes, um... They, someone gets their head on it yeah. but you can't just t- clap people and take them out we saw an incident no. against, and he didn't, get, he didn't get the ball by the way he got nowhere near the ball but we saw an incident where and this is where sometimes goalkeepers are too protected we saw an incident where Everton um, who did Everton at play the weekend, weekend? at the Tarkovsky, weekend yeah. Tarkovsky I get, who did they play I can't Fulham remember. Fulham and, right? and it was Leno Leno I think Seamus Coleman puts in the, does he put in the rebound no uh, well, um, well, so, someone puts in the rebound Keane re- Keane puts in the rebound right and the referee blows up really early and goes it's a foul when Tarkovsky's not doing, done anything. Now, how can that be a foul and the one last night not? I don't know. It makes no sense. Since VAR's come in, referees have become lazy because all of a sudden now... They don't have to make they, the They call. don't have to make a decision. Yep. They can just go, well, you know what, even if I miss it, them upstairs will correct it. But then you get incidents like this where no one does anything. And I always think, even if you're... Unless you're 100% clear that that, that like someone's dived, you're 100%... It's, it's black and white. Mm. He's dived. Um, make the decision but if you've got any doubt or anything and you're not 100% surely that's a decision where you go do you know what some, in, some of the guys in here think it's a penalty some of us don't I think it's best you go over to the screen and have a yeah. look and then you make the final decision but the fact that um, they did nothing yeah. as I said it's become, the, the officiating has become it's, lazy it's, it's, not, it's not for me it's not about the fact that the referee got it wrong in that in that actual moment. Mm. But I don't have a problem with that because it was quick and people make mistakes. Yeah. It's the fact they've had time to review it. They've got the option now. And then they got it wrong. Got it wrong. That's the problem I've got. So on the back of that, we know that the Wolves boss, Gary O'Neill, he received an apology from the referee's boss, John Moss. Still has got the yellow card. That's not been rescinded. The referee and VAR, they've been axed by the Premier League for this weekend's matches. That's Simon Hooper and Michael Salisbury. What does that do? What, does but, Gary O'Neill get an extra point for what, that? What, why is Gary O'Neill not getting his yellow card rescinded. I don't get it. And, and they will say, because you're not allowed to be as animated as you are, right? But he's being as animated he is because you've made the wrong... It's your fault. Yeah, you If you would have said that's a penalty, he would not have had a yellow card. No. And it's your fault he's got the yellow card. No, exactly. So rescind it. Have a little bit of common sense. It, you know, at the moment, the PGMOL have got awful PR, awful press around yeah. it. If they come out now and go, do you know what? It was our fault. It was our fault he was incredibly animated. And because of that, and because we've come out and said it was the wrong decision, we will rescind the yellow card. Right? We'll hold yeah. our hands up. Just come out and do it. And then all of a sudden we'll go, fair play, yeah. fair play, well done, you but, made the right but decision. Obviously they're seeing as they can't do that, but honestly, every single weekend we're seeing something. Some of the decisions we're seeing, and you just think, like, even even with the handball, now, I'm glad that it wasn't a handball, but when you look at, they, they don't give that handball what, the one Rashford the, last night, right? Oh, the, right, yeah, I thought you that. meant the one at the bridge at the weekend. But they give Lewis Dunks. Where he dives on the floor, his arms are by his side, but hits his elbow. See now, get the gen. It's the consistency. How is that? I like, mean, he, 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 you're going to say that, oh, they're going to say the arm is behind him. It's, it's behind not him. In his... But what? What? He's, like, he's, he's thrown himself to block the cross, and he's hit his elbow behind him. He's not even looking at the ball. He's, he's looking away, and it hits his arm. And they give the penalty for that. But then last night, where again, I'm glad it was wasn't given because I think you need a bit. Of, you need a bit of yeah. Do you know what I mean? After what happened at the bridge, I just think the consistency for VAR at the yeah. minute and the officiating just becomes so lazy. Week one and already problems. Exactly. Uh, let's go to the phone lines. 03717 Dan's first up, a Liverpool fan. Hi, Dan. How are you doing? You all right? I'm great. I'm very well. How are you today? Yeah, not too bad. Thank you. Off you go. I mean, I'm guessing we're, as football fans, we're all going to say the same, right? Yeah, definitely. It was a stonewall penalty. I don't know what they're thinking about, really, to be honest. Um, I just... I just can't believe that it hasn't been given. It reminds me of a couple of seasons back when Dix had come out and classed Van Dijk caused him a serious injury for the three quarters of the season. It's a bit, a bit of a joke player safety. You know, that player could have went off with a head injury, anything like that. So, it needs to be some more consistency, really. Dan, let me ask you, do you think football is better with VAR? Um, I do like the offsides. Um, I know they, take, they take probably too long. Uh, but I do think... There's certain aspects of the game where it's needed, but when you have decisions being made like this, there needs to be some kind of, you know, ex football as people who've played the game recently as well. You know, with the change in times, obviously you go back to ex players who used to play in the day when slide tackles coming in left, right, and centre, and it was fine, but and you're mm. not players in, in the current. Do you know, age, what, do you know what, Dan? I've, Dan I've said that before as well. When it comes to ex players and people who've played the game being in the officiating room, I think just to get a different perspective, I'm not saying it's the answer. 
but just to take a different perspective on things. Let me ask you this, Benty. If Manchester United were 1-0 down, yep. and that was at the other end in front of the Stretford They get it, 100%. They do? 100%. So, so do you think that big clubs, even subconsciously, get the big decisions? Yeah, they, they panic. I think referees panic. When it comes to the big clubs, you know full well, down the other end, 75,000 people screaming for it. It's at Old Trafford. They get it. Talk Sport Drive with Andy Goldstein. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.